The museum acquired its first suit of Japanese samurai armor at auction in September of 2012. For my entire career as a curator, I had been watching for armor to come on the market, and uh, year after year I saw examples uh, at various sales. But this suit of armor struck me as special, both in terms of its overall quality uh, and the fact that it came with some important documentation. To make a long story short, we did acquire it successfully at auction and brought it back to the museum and installed it. And we've continued to do research on the armor with the help of Tom Richardson, curator of armor at the Royal Armouries in Leeds in England. And what we have learned is not only is our suit of armor a masterpiece of traditional Japanese craftsmanship, metalwork, silk, both in the textiles and the silk lacing, lacquering, um, but also we know that it's by a particular artist, Myotin Munetara, who was working in Edo for the Tokugawa family, the family that ruled Japan from the 17th through the 19th century. And according to the documents that he himself provided, he made use of a much older helmet and mask and sleeves and greaves. Those are the parts of the armor that covers the shin. So we can imagine that those were in the collection of the person who commissioned the armor. So using those four older pieces, he then assembled the rest. So it's a marvelous uh, first-rate work of art and one that we're really delighted to have in our collection.